and it, it goes without saying. I mean, this is a huge machine. We've got an 11 metre table. Lee, people might think that we've shrunk or this is just <laughs> massive. What a head you've got here. I mean, tell us about it. OK, well, this is, uh, this is one of a number of heads. There's over 250 head designs we offer out of the box, if you like, for this range. And we can design heads to suit any application. So this is just an, a 90 degree milling head. Uh, what's going on in here and, and, and what's the good bits? OK, well, there's, there's obviously a drive system. There's a lot of electronics, the sensors, and, the, and, and there's coolant. And, and um, we have to deliver a lot of information because we're simultaneously five axis machine with a fork head on here. There's a lot of media attachments on the end of the RAM. And, and what does it mean it's capable of overall there? What sort of power output have we got here? What can we do? Well, you've got seven and a half thousand newton meters of torque coupled with 100 kilowatts of power. So you can take huge cuts on this. You know, the RAM is 650 square hydrostatic RAM, three and a half meter extension. So even at three and a half meters, deep down inside a component, you can, you can put a huge cut on the front of this spindle. And it, it goes without saying, I mean, this is a huge machine. We've got an 11 meter table. The machine is capable of, uh, you know, a myriad of different machining functions, which we'll touch on with this in, in a second. But how does it cope with demanding industrial parts when the ram's extended? How do you stop chatter, avoid vibration to maintain precision and tolerance? Well, you can see from the machine, it looks right. It, it's, it, it's, it's balanced and, and, and it's, uh, it's a big heavy duty machine. So size wise, it's designed for taking heavy cuts. It's got the right dimension of structure and dimension of ram. Stiffness wise, it's designed for taking heavy cuts. You know, this is a heavy industrial machine, like you say. And capability wise, it's designed for heavy milling, precision milling, but also for turning and also for grinding. So depending on what you put on the end of this ram, depends on what you're actually producing on the parts. And this ram is about 630 by 600 mil or something. I mean, it's, it's 650 square. Wow. And, and when you are then talking about these different areas of machining, how do you go then from milling to turning to grinding? Just change the head? Well, yeah, you've got an interface in, 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 in the head, um, also with a C-axis. So you've got a C-axis, you've also then got your, your media, you've got your, your electrics, you've got your, your coolant and, and, and your hydraulics all fed into, into whatever system is, is required on the front of the RAM. All interchangeable and then the tools are interchangeable onto the onto the front of the attachment. Okay, so changing the head and changing the tools is, is obviously possible, but they're in two different areas of the machine, aren't they? I see the head changes behind you, and the tool changer is to the left. Is that right? It is. On this particular machine, on all the machines, the, these, these services, if you like, to the spindle can be located in different, different positions. And finally, Lee, what, just give us a very quick overview of the options available with the heads here on a machine like this. Well, I would say on, on, on any of these gantry portal type machines that we build, off the shelf you've got over 250 heads to choose from, but if we haven't got a head, we design a head. That's one of the beauties, so we design and manufacture the heads in-house here. All done here? All done here, yeah.